everybody. Today we're going to learn how to make six-sided snowflakes, which you can then turn into a paper garland or an ornament. All you're going to need are a few pieces of paper, and then you're going to need scissors, and you'll also need some ribbon or string, whichever you prefer, and then a hole puncher will come in handy as well. Snowflakes are ice crystals that form. They're not simply frozen water. So to form their special shape, they form slowly in a specific process. And that occurs when water vapor condenses. And this means that the gas form of water, or the vapor, turns into a solid as it freezes and slowly crystallizes. So now it is time to form our snowflakes. And no two snowflakes are ever the same as you will see as you make them. You're going to take a piece of paper and most likely you do have a rectangular shape like I have. So we're going to make it into a square and this is very easy. So you're going to take one corner and then you're going to fold it. So you have this and then you're going to want to cut this leftover piece off. And then when you open it up, you will have a square. So you're going to want to fold it again like you had it. And then you're going to take one edge and you're going to fold it in half again. So you'll have a smaller triangle. All right, and then you want to have it the long side facing up, the point facing down. And then you're going to Fold it into a third. You're going to take this edge and you're just going to fold it to the point. And then so it's going to look like this. And then you're going to flip it and you're going to take that other point and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to fold it on the point. And so then you will have this shape. You're going to cut this at an angle at the top. So you're basically going to cut these two points at the top off. So you wanna take your scissors and then you're just going to cut. And the angle part is very important. You have a small triangle and this is where the project gets fun. So what you can do now is you can cut out any shapes that you want to in the paper. So I'm just going to cut some triangles. And so when you cut all of the shapes that you want out of your paper, then you can slowly unfold it. You're going to have a lovely shape for a snowflake. Once you have a few of these made, and I have two right here. So if you want to make an ornament, you're only going to need one. And what you want to do is take your hole punch. So you're going to punch at one of the snowflake points. You're going to take a piece of ribbon and string and just cut off a little piece so that you can put it through the hole that you punch. You can just tie it off any way that you can, as long as you have a loop left, and this is how you can hang it. Now, if you want to make a garland, punch a hole in two of the snowflake points next to each other. So I have one in here, and I'm just going to do it here. Take a piece of ribbon, I'm just going to feed it through those holes, so one and then two
and two. And you, of course, can keep going with these as long as you want, however many you make. But when you hold it up, you have a cute little snowflake garland. So I made some earlier that were- But you wanna make sure that you have the holes on the two points so that you can feed the ribbon through it. That is very important part of stringing your garland. And then I'm gonna do another one that I made earlier. This one right here. And I'm going to put it on the other side. Then you will have a cute little snowflake garland.